I've had diarrhea all day. But I'm going on vacation, and I need to make the funnies for you. Hello, I'm Hobo Ryan, and you are the person watching. Today, folks, I'm going down into a place, a wet, meaty place that I've been many times before. It's a place where as soon as I get in, I remind myself of the vile stench known as the Meat Canyon. But it's a little different this time. Instead of watching one of his horrific animations that make me want to pluck my eyes out and sell them to a merchant for the highest gems, but instead, I'm actually fusing this with the other idea I've been doing, which is watching a bunch of animation series. And one of the animation series that was kind of on my radar was from Meat Candy himself, and that's Monster Lab. And I think it's really cool that he got a chance to actually sit down and make his own, like, animation series, seeing he's very, very good at animation. Of course, folks like Chicken the Original Link, more fresh Condigram, link me in the description. Oh no. Have I been echoing this whole time? <laughs> oh my god. I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god, that whole video is it's gonna be so shit. You guys <laughs> Alright. This is why you keep your headphones on, folks. Uh, also, I was in a cave all along. Surprise, I was in the meat cave. See, I was foreshadowing. There was a house on top of a hill where a dying scientist bequeathed his life's work to his two assistants, Captain <laughs> and Uno. The scientist gave instructions on how to create monsters. He does know how to pick them good. I personally like my jelly bean heads to be upright, but Charlie Brown works too. Wait, no. Oh my god. She never called him a football head. She never called him a football head. Why did I think she called him a football head? She never called him a football head. This never existed. What is real? What is it? I should have been watching this video, but I have been watching a 15 minute long video of Charlie Brown kicking a football and not once does he hit the football and not once does she call him football head why did I think she called him football head oh my life is a lie is it the Berenstein Bears or the Berenstein Bears I don't know anymore <laughs> But what about a shoe smell? This poor boy's got some cold toes. By someone cooking some fries, not naming any names, but that's the time to the winner. Now, with a handful of monsters and a fire insurance check, Katz and Uno have purchased a three bedroom house in a quiet suburban town. Hey! Is them. That's not three bedroom or three story. Did you say three story, three bedroom? What's the third bedroom for? Oh. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Helga. Howard. Hello. We're having, isn't it? Do you have a, a belly button or a third ah, ear? <laughs> yeah, couple, those Schultzes. Relics of a better time. Unlike them. So mysterious. Oh, no. So dark. I can only imagine what kind of evil lurks in that house. Whatever the evil is, it can't be as evil as the fact that you somehow peed on your own balls. That means... He didn't pee on the underpants and it landed in the balls because there would have been a stain on the top area of this. No, this means that he has purposely peed in his underpants downwards as if he used this underpants to catch a raining pee from the sky that was about to fall and splat in the ground. And the only way to save that pee was with his own underpants. But sadly, it was his only pair of underpants, so he still wears it to this day, staining his balls for generations. What are they sucking on? It's going to be someone's nipple. I know, Meat Cannon. It's going to be a nipple. The screen to go up and it to be an old bag just sitting there going, Oh! <laughs> Whoa! He's really that's going a, to town on that. That's thing. a talented boy. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, that is what the Chinese battle <laughs> oh, my God. About. 
Oh my god, I know what show they're making fun of. Oh no, I watched that show. And for a one time payment of $400, this bad boy can be all yours, daddy. Never mind. You gotta have that sword. One incredibly long talk about men making swords and trying to cut pigs, ending in extremely painful explosive diarrhea later. Would you? <laughs> oh, why did I know that was going to happen? Broke. Damn. <laughs> I knew it. All right. We've been living in I am pleased. Ever since the fire, I'm sick of it. I want to live deliciously, Uno. Not I don't... Like a goddamn street rat. You never want to live deliciously, bud. Oh, I'm sorry, Ottoman. I I might have gotten a bit heated. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I know you get a bit testy sometimes, but I live to serve. Man, Ooh, I need a boy like that in my life. A great servant you are. Why don't you but I wouldn't put my feet on him. I would respect Eric, him. I'm going to clean you like a cat. Ah! No, 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 don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop doing I know you're doing it. I'm mentally seeing the thought that you're doing it. Management would be a more obvious choice. But yeah, I guess beating something could be the answer. Y'all need a quick cleanup. No. Go down. No, thank you, Eric. You're very thorough. At least he's good at his job. You got to give him that. You know? Hey, buddy. Damn it, who cleaned down here? I had things who in order cleaned? to my liking. Oh, guys. Why are you keeping the CRT TV? Oh, no, you clumsy ape. Look what you've done. Wait, what's this? My God, it's been ages. <laughs> I've just realized he's the farthest from an ape. Know this survived the fire. If apes are made of beans. Say hi to Ted for me. Is he implying that he wants to get AIDS, <laughs> or...? No, he was going to cure it, of course. He was an admirable man. Remember? <laughs> an admirable man filled with AIDS. Add me the fucking bone saw! <laughs> he didn't even he asked for it. <laughs> he wanted to take care of the elderly. Oh, I'm no servant to those bulldog face fiends. Wait, I've got an idea. Old people usually have a ton of money, right? Hey, what if we use the money from the old people to buy bulldogs to have the bulldogs eat the old people and the old people give us money to buy more bulldogs so that we can get more old people to get eaten and then get more money? And then I'll have an army of bean men. I. Beans. Easy work for a high price. Not a bad idea, Uno. We do have that elderly couple next door. How is he so ugly yet so just goddamn beautiful? Us, we could get that sword to make some monsters to chop up. Now you think he made a body page. pillow of it? Let's go see what those well, skin sacks hope. need help with. Cleaving house. Oh, <gasps> he cleaned up. What a good guy. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you bother those beautiful old angels. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling the cops. They aren't angels yet, silly goose. Emergency. This is Officer Henry King. My neighbors are trying to- Save it, Henry. <laughs> we aren't going to keep coming out there to harass your neighbors. But they're walking to my neighbor's house right now! <laughs> Hello? Hello? God damn it, no! <laughs> I like the fog effect they added in the background for the like the clouds. This paraphernalia. Just know he's a product of his time. Uh-oh, don't. I mean, I don't think that's really an excuse for blatant racist iconography, is it? Oh, you liberal little bitch. I <laughs> five. <laughs> Uno, snowflake much. Hello? Doesn't exist. Who's there? Mr. Schultz, it's your neighbor cats. Now we know that you're a man of uh I can't stop looking at the skinny man with his dog. Various racist artifacts and other knickknacks from times gone by. Why are you so hung up on this? <laughs> but you'll see no judgment here. No. <laughs> we'll definitely be judged. Nah, well, we'll see what happens. Sir, we've come to see if there's anything you may need help with. I'm sorry, boys. I don't have any money for Chocolate bars or whatever that child pedophile cult you call the Boy Scouts has <laughs> No, sir. I feel you may misunderstand what we mean. We can help you with any problem in the whole world. You boys.
Rose can, uh -oh. can help me with any problem? Anyone at all? You want to? extent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My morals are yeah, we'll put some balloons on your house and we'll fly up and send you to Africa. Oh, come on in, boys. Let me on you a tail. <laughs> Damn it. Ryan, you said you would never laugh at fart jokes. You said you would stop laughing at them. If I dubs can get over his love for fart jokes, so can you. I'm a fraud. Turned upon the fountain of youth, and in my ignorance drank deep from its water. And now I can't die from old age. But you look so fucking old. <laughs> The Fountain of Youth is much the same as in the hit film, The Green Mile. I remember when I saw the film, I thought, Wow, this is literally the exact situation I find myself in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I also get fondled by big men. I you some pumpkin cookies? Damn it, Helga. <laughs> Leave us men to talk, you... Vile old goat. <laughs> Love you. I want you boys to you picked a woman with a you. head shape like you his. It's beautiful. A curse when your dick doesn't work and <laughs> all you can do is keep getting older. I can't get plastic surgery because my doctors say I'm too old. I just want to swim again. I want to scale a mountain. I want to bury my face into a teenage girl's bosom again. Prowl the town for some young strange. Your excessive use of young made that all very creepy for me. <laughs> <laughs> the young part did? Not the teen part? Helga and her cookies? She's just a revolving door. She <laughs> will die soon enough. How many and old broads you got, my man? Says over and over again. Hopefully in the future I can purchase some futuristic robot body to implant my brain but it's, it's coming soon now, buddy i've seen ai amaranth do we have a deal i've plugged in the info for our monster cats while i do want this money i i feel bad for helga me too she seems so nice to be treated so poorly by that immortal asshole aye and she offered us pumpkin cookies <laughs> That's the only sign of joy that can the bring the world together, the bud. Man, but add in a little extra charm. <laughs> what is that? This Why did it steal my cookie? What kind of hellish monster did you make that just it exists to steal cookies? Love for Helga. Is that why there's always one Oreo missing in my bag? We get the money and save the girl. I will fuck no that time thing. For your over -examination, Uno. Let us bring this beast to life. <laughs> Look at that! He could shovel the ground for us. Hey. <laughs> okay. You <laughs> old man's body next door, stretching his old skin and giving him the posture of a Greek god. Oh no. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Here we come, sword. Oh no. Dude, that's too much, man. Don't chew. Don't chew a liquid. That's such a horrible little detail that I hate. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Time for Henry King to become the hero he once was. I'm coming, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> what you doing, Henry? Damn it, Todd. We need to help Mr. Schultz. Todd is you really good at his job. pretty stupid down at the force with your little, uh, hate crime. We all do hate crimes. <laughs> yeah, well, some of us are professional and don't get caught beating and blinding Vietnamese men. Holy <laughs> shit. Now, I don't know all the information, but there is a very good chance that the Vietnamese man just went, Oh, look, they have some delicious Doritos on sale. <gasps> and after seeing his droopy nipples, he went criminally blind. His nipples were named hate and crime. That monstrosity is going to kill that innocent man. If he might. Any other person, Probably will. King, I turn right around and look. <laughs> but out of pure merit, I refuse to look. <laughs> what are you? I can't tell with your accent. Well... Is this thing my miracle? It sure is. I, I really, I don't. 
Rodney, don't. Rodney, no. Rodney, no! He's like an orange. Ooh, 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 it's all right. It's all right. It's fine. We'll put that back in. <laughs> oh, no! No! Everyone wants a cookie. Oh, my word. Harold, you look fantastic. <laughs> did you boys help my Harold? We sure did. Well, here's your money. Well, thanks, Helga. I how to lift it on the counter next to different kinds of lubricants and penis pills and... Flavored condoms, but I, 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 that doesn't concern you, boys. <laughs> My dearest Helga, you have never looked so beautiful. Harold, stop. Come, let us make love until the new day's sun illuminates the sky. Oh, Helga, stop me. Oh, Helga. Oh, 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 oh. She ain't. <laughs> I'm not going to ask questions. Well, we finally have enough money to get I'm our in the sword. business of watching, you know, not asking. Just by helping someone, I felt happier than I have in a long time. I said we use the four hundred dollars to clean up this house and start helping more people. <laughs> Is that right? All for four hundred dollars. I gotta that high, you know. We can save the world, <laughs> and I can give myself a pat on the back for every step of the way. Oh, how can a man be blocked from calling the police? <laughs> I gotta get back to being a hero. I'll reveal what's going on in that goddamn house, and I will redeem myself. I can promise you that. I will be victorious! <laughs> I believe in you, man who caught the pee from the falling building. I believe in you. Man, that was actually really enjoyable. Sure, we had our good old-fashioned meat canyon humor that's always something really gross and makes me go, ooh, and then, you know, lose a little bit more of myself. But I feel like this time I gained a little bit because that was really, really funny. You know what this reminds me of? It's got that humor and charm of the fine smiling friend series one of my absolute favorite cartoons of the modern era i laughed throughout the entire series and by the way if you have not watched smiling friends i think this may have been inspired because i think it's around the time i th i think after smiling friends it showed that youtube animators had a chance to actually get a like something prominent on television which is awesome by the way and i've said this for a bunch of these it'd be awesome if this somehow could get some sort of deal and he could make a buttload of money doing a series that he loved making that is like the dream right there and i really do hope one day meet candy can do that he probably couldn't do all the jokes but i do think of most of the jokes from smiling friends so he probably could pull it off this is the perfect fusion of main channel, second channel. You get the grossness and the animation from the main channel and the comedy from his second channel. I love this, Meat Cannon. I really thought this was a hilarious video. I very much enjoyed this. I like the characters. I like the premise of the idea of this monster making factory to try to fix problems. And a great idea for comedy and just making unique ideas and stuff like that. Making a weird guy just make him skinny and it messing up. Hilarious. I really enjoy this world that Meat Canyon has made for Meat Lab. It's interesting enough and it's unique enough that makes me really want to dig more into it. I've said this before with a lot of uh, animations, it's very hard to make something feel unique and different. Uh, and Meat Cannon did a great job in doing so. But of course, folks, if you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment. I'm really curious to hear what you guys thought of this animation. Uh, comparatively to his other animations, like his satires of all different kind of genres of media. I can safely say this is one of my favorite Meat Canyon videos I've ever seen, so... I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Did you think it was just equally as funny? And yeah, I would really love to hear your opinions on it. But anyways, folks, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.